Hello, this tutorial is on how to set up an iChat account for screen sharing. First step is I'm going to go to my web browser, which in this case is Safari, so I can go to AIM.com. Okay, so I've opened up Safari, so now I'm going to go to AIM.com. To get the screen name, I'm going to click right here where it says get a username in this little AIM on the web. You could also sign in with your Facebook account. This, I could do a screen name like one of these kind of cryptic things. Um, I found that using an email address is simplest because that already identifies you and you don't have to settle for something like um, screen girl 917 or something that will be not sensible. So I'll put in my email address. So you got to type in this cryptic letters. Uh, it's always a gamble. Um, that looks like it is it. There we go. Okay, so it's all set up, um, and it gives me this little screen. Now the first thing that I have to do is I have to check my email to verify this. So I'll go into my email. And there it is. So I say, yes, I made this request. And I put in my password. So now that my password is confirmed, I'm going to open up iChat. And that's this little chat bubble down here. Uh, if you don't find iChat in your dock area, you can also go into your applications folder and you'll find it in there. There's I there it is. I'm going to double click that and open it up. So now our chat is open. It gives me this dialog box and then I can go and hit continue. And now I'm going to put in the username and password that I just made. That screen name was demo at home recording studio design and with my password and I say continue. And now it says, iChat is ready for me to use. I hit done. Okay. So AM is now set up. Uh, all I need is some buddies to chat with. Now I can either give out my screen name, which is this demo at home recording studio design.com, or I can enter in to my buddy list uh, other people's screen names. So I'm going to add here, I know my. Uh, one of my other screen names that I have is uh, this guy. E R E D H E N D. So that's another screen name, like somebody that I would want to communicate with online. So I'm just going to hit add. And there he is. So he's marked as offline uh, right now, but I can click on his name and I can see these little symbols down here are what I would use to start a chat with. I could start a chat, text chat where I could type something and then he could type something back. I could type, start an audio chat, which would be like a telephone conversation where we could hear each other. I could start a video chat where we would both be able to see each other, like a webcam. And then this is what we're most interested in, which is starting a screen sharing chat. That's where I can see his screen or he can see my screen and we would be able to talk at the same time and the audio goes through. So. That's how that goes. Okay, I'm going to add another buddy in here. This will be my wife that I'll demonstrate this little thing with. And there she is. Now you can see by her name, you see this little symbol. Uh, this means that she's available for video chats uh, and all the other fancy stuff that we'll need. So if I click on her, you see all these buttons illuminate. I could uh, start a screen sharing session with her, and I can do it one of two ways. I can either share my screen with her, or I could ask to see her screen. So um, let's say the person is going to call in. I want to show you what that looks like. So right now, so I'm going to call in from my wife's computer here, and um, I'm actually going to hit asked to share 
this screen. And you'll see that little alert. So what you do is you go in the corner here and you click on it and you say accept. Then it initiates and you'll see this. On the other screen you can see um, I'm, I'm actually controlling this mouse from the other computer or I can control it from this one. Um, now this will allow me to do the screen sharing, conferencing, uh, instructional stuff. Um, if I want to end off on this, if I want to make this person sign out, I can click on this little flashing bubble up here and I can say end screen sharing. And that ends the screen sharing. Now another thing that I want to show you in that bubble up there, I'm going to change a preference here in iChat, preferences, and I'm going to Sorry. In general here it says settings, show status and menu bar. So now you see up here this little chat bubble appeared. So I can set myself to available, offline, etc. So I'm going to be available. Now let's say I wanted to start a screen sharing session with Jamie. So I'm going to click on this person's name. And I'm going to click share my screen with this person. If I chose this one I'd be able to see their screen. I see this they have to accept on their side. They accept. And then we see this. So that's pretty much it. Uh, with the screen sharing engaged, uh, the other person can see my screen, can control my screen, run my computer from their end. I can hear them we, uh, from wherever somebody is on the planet that has an internet connection. So I hope that makes sense for you. I'm going to sign off from the screen sharing, and I'm going to sign off for now.